Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this video clip. Uh, we are in October uh, 23rd, 2007. A few days ahead uh, will be October 28th and it will be the third anniversary of Aqab for Kabur. And only a couple of days later, uh, three days later, October 31st, will be the anniversary of the devil, of Satan. You'll be saying, uh, what is this, some kind of a joke? Uh, no, it's not any joke. I'm talking about uh, Halloween, October 31st of every year for the last many, many years. And uh, Halloween is a very bad uh, day to celebrate and I advise you not to celebrate Halloween, not to buy any products, because uh, behind Halloween is the devil, devil is Satan. Uh, but, but before uh, talking about it, I would like to, to recommend you a few Bible verses that you can go to Hosea 4.6, uh, Ezekiel 44.23, uh, Deuteronomy 18.9, James 1.27, 2 Corinthians 6.4, uh, Philippians 4.8, there are many other verses in the Bible which uh, teaches us exactly that we must not have any communion between the light and the darkness and uh, Halloween is a festivity of the darkness of bad things uh, we can also see last year 2006 it was, there was a very prominent uh, ecclesiastic authority uh, who clearly said and it was taken by all the news agencies around the world uh, this uh, ecclesiastic authority uh, belonging to a mainstream religious uh, man he said that uh, Halloween was nothing but uh, pushing the new generation and the old generation towards uh, committing bad things. So it was also transmitting to children, uh, young children and a bit older children, uh, very bad uh, things to do. We can see that also all the police departments around uh, the world, their statistics of the Interpol and any other uh, police department around the world, they say that uh, at the evening of October 31st of every year uh, there is an increase of uh, criminal activities, not only towards animals, sacrificing animals, but even towards uh, human beings and also not only killings but also injuring and the very very bad things in that precise day. Why? Because the devil, Satan, is very happy to push his uh, birthday and his birthday or his day his day is nothing but the opposite of God of light of love uh, so the opposite of that is hatred and violence and bad things uh, so we see uh, that on Halloween uh, people take it very um, just joking they say well uh, we don't take it seriously you know it's just we are having some fun with our children we take them to a party they dress up they buy some pumpkins or turnips or uh, these things, some games, we, they are just uh, playing. No, no, no. Uh, if you take it uh, joking, the devil takes it very seriously and so does God. God takes it very seriously and the, uh, the devil, Satan, is dead serious about his uh, feast. And he has been very successful in camouflaging it uh, under a very comedy and very nice way. I Last uh, few week I went to a supermarket, there were some products of Halloween, they were presented very nicely, dead cat or even uh, witches, uh, you know, in a very funny and very nice way. You just buy them, oh, very nice. And when you take them back home, they are accompanied by a demon. So you are taking a demon inside your house and it will not be blessed. So don't buy any Halloween products, don't uh, participate at any Halloween party, it is from the devil, it is evil. Uh, you might ask, uh, so how did uh, this uh, festivity start? Uh, wh wh what origin does it have? Well, it has a, a long, long origin, even before Christianity, wow! Three, three centuries before Jesus was born, there was Halloween. Uh, uh, Halloween had it, its uh, priests. There were high priests, religious priests, and uh, they were called the Druids. Uh, they were in North Europe, Northern Europe, uh, precisely Northern France, uh, Germany, Holland, and uh, more exactly England and Ireland. And these Druids, they were the sons of the devil, or they were shamans, and shaman, shaman, 
S-A-M-H-A-I-N is nothing more than the god of the dead, the god of death. So they were the, the, the priests of the god of death, the shamans. And uh, what did they do, these shamans? These shamans, uh, like uh, all priests who are full-time, who don't have a job, uh, not against that, of course, but I'm just saying, they did not have an income, so they, ha they had to eat, and they went from house to house. There were no electric lights in the streets, uh, so because of the wind, they, they took some candles, and they put them in, in a turnip, or then in a pumpkin, and they put some holes so they can see where they are going and they used to go from house to house and ask some food, some things to eat so they can survive, they can live uh, and, the, and wh when they went there and they knock at the door the people who give them, they, were, they had the blessings of the devil but the people who did not give anything, well, they were cursed and uh, from there it started the trick or treat you might ask, where did they start? Trick or treat? Now the, 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 the children, they do the same thing. They go from house to house, they gather some candies, some chocolates, and they say, if you don't give us the candies, we will make a trick on you. So this is a very innocent, a very nice way of doing it, but it's nothing more than the reflection of what the sons of the devils, the shamans, the druids, used to do many centuries ago, many, many centuries ago exactly 300 years before uh, Jesus bo uh, Christ was born. Uh, so they celebrated the new year of and the festival of Shaman. Uh, you might also ask at this point uh, the origin of the name uh, Halloween. We noticed that uh, Halloween uh, comes one day before All Saints Day. Uh, a festivity which was uh, impressed by uh, religious mainstream religious authorities which has no uh, substantiation in the Bible there is nothing about All Saints Day but anyway I'll not talk about that I'll talk about the fact that it is one day before All Saints Day so hello in the uh, old Celtic language means saint so All Saints Eve, or All Hallow Eve, which means the evening of the All Saints Day. And uh, so the word All Hallow Eve was then through the decades uh, modified through Hallow Eve and then Hallow In, Halloween. So this is the way how the word was modified. So I advise you not to participate at any of these uh, bad things of Halloween. Uh, I'm very sorry for all the people who are buying the products to put them in their shops and to sell them, uh, but I can assure them that they are not having any blessings out of it. Even if they are earning a lot of money out of the parties, out of buying these, uh, these products, there is no any blessing out of it. So you better don't buy these things and don't put them in your store and for all the consumers, don't go and buy these things. And I'm saying it against my own impopularity, uh, you know, risking not to be popular. But we have to say what uh, the Word of God teaches. So God bless you, and I hope you will not participate at any Halloween uh, festivity from now on. God bless you. Ciao, ciao.